least we're not in the cattle car. Remember that time on the old eerie Lackawanna? Yeah. When we jumped in what we thought was a nice, empty car, turned out to be full of bull. Ralph, you mean the one that had the bull in it? That was quite a trip. Chi-town to Frisco yeah. in 30 days, no deadlines, no bosses. Drinking weak old coffee from an old bean can, standing knee-deep in cow pies. <laughs> yeah, all those years we hopped the westbound. And the eastbound, and the northern, yeah. and the southern. It was a free ride to anywhere, wasn't right. it? Right. Tickets, tickets. Tickets, please. Uh, tickets, please. Uh, tickets. Here, buddy. Nice day, ain't it? How about you, buddy? Where's your ticket? Ticket? Look, I'm the engineer. We got on this freight in Nashville. We're riding all the way to Seattle. I never needed a ticket before. Listen, bud, this is my train. No ticket, no ride. So cough it up. I'll throw you both off right here. Well, uh... I must have left my ticket back at the last stop, but my good friend Boxcar Willie, he'll vouch for me, right, Box, old buddy? You talking to me, Ralph? Come on, Box. Come on, Box, it's your friend Ralph. Ralph who? Listen. Okay, buddy, Listen. no. Okay, buddy. No ticket, no ride. I'm sorry I stepped on your line. Thank you. <laughs> Well, listen, sir, my credit is good on the Atchison, the Topeka, and the Santa Fe, the A train, the B train, the C train, the, all the alphabet trains, the Orange Blossom Special, why, even the Chattanooga. Pardon me, boys. This ain't the Chattanooga choo-choo. Well, well, what, what is, is it, it, then? This is Nashville Now. All right! <laughs> and tonight is a special show. It's a train show. And uh, we've got some wonderful guests who are identified with trained songs, and we're going to start with my friend. I say my friend a moment ago. He wouldn't even vouch for me. <laughs> anyway, would you please welcome Boxcar Willie? <laughs> She's the beauty of the Southland, listen to that whistle and scream. You're on that Pan American on the way to New Orleans. She leaves Cincinnati, head down that Dixie line. When she passed the Nashville Tower, you can hear that whistle whine. Stick your head right out. I did, 
I did that song especially for you because the last time I was on here, you asked me if I'd do that song. I asked if you ever did the Pan American. I did it especially for you. Well, tonight's subject is trains. <laughs> what do you know about trains? What do you want to know? Did, did you bring us some special uh, artifacts? I, I did, and we're going to show those, I presume, a little bit later on in the show. As a matter of fact, Ralph, I brought the keys to the Wabash Cannonball. Mr. Fred Carpenter, who hand-fired the Wabash Cannonball, he lives in Peru, Indiana, and uh, he was a fireman. When I say hand-fire, I mean there was no mechanical means to get the coal into the firebox. He shoveled it in there. And uh, I brought the keys to that, and I brought a Union Pacific accident box. They don't call them first aid kits back in the old days. And this isn't some of the stuff in there that they doctor people with. The bottles have corks, you know, that's, they didn't have the plastic mm -hmm. lids and everything. And I presume they're going to show that a little are bit later. Are we going to show on. that later? Okay. Yeah. Well, All right. Okay, they are. <laughs> All right. Is there, is there a proper way to hop a freight train? You know, there really is. Let's say if this is the front of the boxcar here to your left, mm -hmm. and the train is moving that way, you would always hop the freight at the front of the boxcar instead of at the rear. Because if you hopped it at the rear and you missed, you would go between the cars mm -hmm. right under the wheels. Where if you try to hop it at the front and you missed, the car would knock you back off the track. But kids, let me tell you something. Whatever you do, that's only a myth, and it's, those days are gone. Hobos are gone forever. We just keep the image alive. Don't play on the railroads. Yeah, I... Uh, see, I, I used to live on Railroad Street in McEwen, Tennessee, right next to the uh, NC and St. L track in those days. And uh, I know some people who got hurt very badly very trying, bad. trying to hop those trains. As a member of Operation... All right, Box, you, you mentioned to me a moment ago you have to promote the Fox Theater up in St. Louis. Yeah, 17th this month we're going to be at uh, Fox Theater. De uh, Dottie West, uh, Jerry Clower and I will be at the Fox Theater. All right. God bless you. Tonight, Boxcar Willie uh, brought a few artifacts from his train museum, which is, I believe, in his theater up in Branson, Missouri. We just opened it right next door. It's right there. I'm going to turn that up so they can see that right there. Right, that, that says UP Wrecking Car Accident Box at Union Pacific. <laughs> right, Union Pacific Railroad. Uh, some nice folks out in uh, Saint, or Salt Lake City, Utah, gave this to me. And uh, this is, it's dated right here, Ralph, 1915. And they, they didn't call them first aid kits. It's this the is, same thing, though. Yeah, it's a first aid kit, really. They just called it the accident box. And I'll bet there's a lot of people out there that remember carbolic acid. Yeah, I guess you I do. hear some murmuring among the crowd out there. There's some, old, some of the older folks out there remember carbolic acid. <laughs> <laughs> but whenever, whenever you had a cold sore or you had any kind of a sore or a burn, or go get the carbolic acid. It didn't make any difference what it was as long as you didn't take it internally. And uh, this is one of the old bottles with it's got a, it's carbolic acid still in that, by the way. All right. what My about... grandpa could not function without carbolic acid. And, of course, there's... Uh, the only thing that this don't have is goodies. Well, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know when goodies started, so maybe uh, this came out before goodies did. Now, you've got some very significant keys here that I, I wish you would show off. Well, this key right here was the key to one of the restrooms <laughs> on the uh, Wabash Cannonball. Mr. Fred Carpenter, who worked for the uh, Wabash Railroad, and see it's got a number on there. All the keys were numbered, and, and everybody was issued a key. Now this is a key here that fit every switch along the way from uh, Peru to Chicago. And uh, whenever they would, the train would get off on the siding, this is the key that Mr. Carpenter used for 40 years on that railroad. Was Mr. Carpenter the engineer? He was the fireman. Is he still living? He, he was. I haven't heard from him in a couple of years, but he was just going like a house of fire. And uh, Mr. Carpenter, Mr. Fred Carpenter, if you're listening tonight up there in Wabash or Peru, God bless you and we still think of you. And uh, we appreciate all the great railroad artifacts that he's gave us through the years. Uh, did he tell you a lot of stories about the Wabash Cannonball? He told me cannonball? some great stories. He was, he was on board the Wabash Cannonball on the only wreck that the Cannonball was ever involved in. Cannonball was only involved in one wreck. And they also let him ride. He had already retired. 
but he rode the Wabash Cannonball on its final run. Was it? Did it always run from Peru, Indiana to Chicago? That I'm not real sure. I know it. I know what, that was one which, of its. Which run. line did it run on? On the Wabash. So the, the Wabash, Wabash. The Wabash. Right. Oh, yeah, I think it was. Was it? Wasn't it? Uh, Wabash Lackawanna or something like that? Well, they changed those railroads so many, so many times. You know, when they, they would merge. The Erie Lackawanna. It was Erie Lackawanna okay. and the Wabash right. and. Uh, I think that was taken over, might, but might have been taken over by the Chessie system. I'm not really sure. I know the Chessie system runs through there. Did you bring the oil can and the switch? And the... No, I didn't bring that stuff there. I, uh, your uh, prop people did that, and they did a marvelous job on this stage and this scene here. I just feel right at home here. Well, are we going to go to this song right here? Oh, we're going to go. We have a special feature tonight. Right. Some people ride trains, and some people sing about trains. Here's a look at a man who plays with trains. And he's turned his hobby into a full-time job. Okay, do we have some pictures of uh, Boxes Museum up in uh, uh, Branson? There it is. This is your railroad museum. It's a it's a music, airplane, and railroad museum. Oh, I know you were you were a member of the United States Air Force for a long time. I yeah, I got a whole cockpit of an airplane. Yeah, you told me about that one time. What what kind of is it? It's a KC-97. The tanker. KC-97 tanker, and there's a. There's some of the, there's thousands of things that just took, right out there is over uh, 400 date nails. Now they used to put the nail in the cross tie whenever they would put the cross tie in the ground, the year. And we've got about 1,200, I've got about 600 of them displayed there. How old, uh, how long has it taken to uh, put this collection together? This has taken me 40 years. So it, it is a collection rep a representing 40 years. I, I never throw anything away. We're going to uh, take a little break and then we have a special treat for you. And Box is going to be joined on stage by a member of the Country Music Hall of Fame, Mr. Roy Acuff, to do the Wabash Cannonball. Now, I suppose this is possibly the most famous of all train songs. And ladies and gentlemen, Boxcar Willie is going to be joined now by the legendary Roy Acuff. The great Atlantic Ocean to the wide Pacific shore. From the queen of flowing mountain to the south belt by the shore. She's mighty tall and handsome, she's known quite well by all. She's the combination on the Wabash Cannonball. She came down to Birmingham one cold December day as she rolled in. You could hear all the people say, there's a girl from Tennessee, she's long and she's tall. She came down to Birmingham on the Wabash Cannonball. Jerry Waters at the piano. We love you. Box car, where they come in, Box. Well, her eastern states are dancing. St. Louis and Chicago, by the way, yeah. from the hill of Minnesota, where the rippling waters fall. Yes, sir. No changes can be taken on the Wabash Cannonball. Come in, Wimpy, with your goat roll. Yeah. Along the woodland, by the hills and by the 
しょう」